What do you say, John? I say it's wicked funny Marvin's gonna get his ass kicked again. I kinda feel bad for Mr. Gump running all over the place. Ah, eh, he likes running, so who cares? <laughs> he sure does. You think he'll ever figure it out? Nah, Marvin's too stupid to send him here. And you're talking about a guy who let fucking Jenny fuck him over for fucking years, so. Anyway, The Last Jedi. Yeah, I'd say this is the most controversial thing in the Star Wars universe since all the prequels. I only have one issue with The Last Jedi, and we'll go over that. But you can't make these fucking people happy. The Force Awakens is too much like A New Hope. The Last Jedi is too much of a departure. What the fuck do you assholes want? There's a whole set of books out there that everyone wanted as movies. I fucking wanted them as movies. Look at it this way, you get multiple fucking stories. Just sit back in the theater and fucking enjoy the show, you picky fucks. You have some strong feelings on this. Also, you can read. Audible. Don't judge. Oh, no, no judgment. We also have a nice beer today. Schlafly's Kolsch. God bless you. No, the beer we drank last night. Kolsch. Oh, yeah, good stuff. I enjoyed it. No shit. Probably a little too much. Hey, that lady had it coming. Really? Nobody deserves to see your balls in the bar. She said she hated hockey, and the lights were out. They were barely visible. Good grief. It's like fucking babysitting. Except we can go out and drink together. Good times. Okay. I like this. It's kind of a standard beer. It's like a lager, so it's a basic beer with some flavor. I'm going to give it three out of six. Slothly has some good beers that are better that I prefer more. So I'm going to give it three out of six. Well, I'm going to give it a balls out four. I liked it. Went down easy and was very refreshing. Good change from all the IPAs. All right. Off to a galaxy far, far away. Yes. So one of the earliest scenes in the flicks is when Poe fucks with Hux. Tell your precious princess there will be no terms. There will be no surrender. Hi, I'm holding for General Hux. (laughs) Ha Funny start. Hello? Hello? Yep, I'm still here. Can you... can he hear me? Hugs? He can. With an H? Skinny guy? Kind of pasty? (laughs) Ah, funny stuff. He's basically fucking doing jerky boys in a galaxy far, far away. Look, I can't hold forever. If you reach him, tell him Leia has an urgent message for him. I believe he's tooling with you, sir. He just fucking keeps screwing with the pasty little bastard. I really did enjoy the scene, and it takes off into some... Great action right off the top of the movie. It also takes us to a moment we all fucking waited for. When The Force Awakens ended, it left us with the cliffhanger, Luke looking at his fucking old lightsaber. As a fucking hermit on an island, way off in East Buttfuck, zip code a galaxy even fucking further away. We fucking waited for that. It's like, fuck this thing. Was there a hand attached? Because it was the last time I saw it. Yo, the words of wisdom, or Ray, you're my daughter, or granddaughter, or some fucking shit like that. And it just became sort of a, hey, he's like, I'm fucking retired, get out of here. Well, it ends up working itself out. Adds a little more fucking drama to the whole thing. But the most dramatic of our scenes, and my only real fucking issue with this whole film, is the fast-paced space chase. 
I mean, what the fuck? You have all these awesome spaceships, and it turns into a scene from Austin Powers. Ah! Watch out! Ah! Watch out! Except there, they know they were being fucking ridiculous. We have this fucking chase where they're just waiting for him to run out of gas. Where we go fucking 10 miles an hour. Holy shit, that's fucking stupid. They were waiting for Finn and that other chick to get some help. But then they get fucked over, etc. I like the film. Other than the crawling space race there across the fucking galaxy. Which could have been written a jump to light speed to a jump to light speed and they encounter all kinds of fucking things along the way. But I can say the people bitching that this was too different. No shit. That's what I liked about it. When you thought they were gonna zig, they zag. When you thought he was going right, he goes fucking left. When you thought he was gonna put it in the pussy, he sticks it in the ass. When you thought you get the Kessel run, you get Jabba strolling through the fucking sand. But it was great that he killed off characters. You wouldn't have thought he killed off. He kind of fucked JJ on the last one, but he was like, You killed Han, JJ? I'm gonna fucking kill Luke. Boom. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It wasn't my favorite, but it was good. I mean, if they end up with Luke Skywalker becomes Ray's father, wouldn't everybody be bitching it was the same as fucking Empire? You can't make these fucking people happy. So I'm gonna give this one a 3.5 out of 5. It's not the greatest movie, but it took a lot of guts doing what he fucking did. Just taking it off the fucking rails. You're right. It was different. It was fun. I'm gonna say four. I really liked it. With all its faults and everything, I'm just a Star Wars fan. I want more. And you'll get more next week when we wrap up the Skywalker saga. And at some point, we'll visit Rogue One and Solo. But I wanted to put a cap on these fucking nine films. Yeah, they were all fun. You didn't even really make uh, much in the way of sexual references this week. Don't worry. Doc Ray with next week. Oh, baby. All right. I ate too much. I'm going to go release the crapping. You're disgusting. I resemble that remark. Later, ass wipes. Make sure you subscribe and pass this along, people. See ya.